there's a huge number of beings outside in the universe that have gray skin, but that doesn't mean they're all the same. So what we are talking about are um, gray beings that are about this high, and they, I wouldn't say they're artificial because that would mean they, their consciousness is AI as well, but that isn't the case. They have a biological consciousness but they use artificially created bodies that are contain that contain fibers. So they they have special materials, special fibers that they kind of 3D print, so to speak, in order to create a vessel that has all the features they need to accomplish certain mission, missions in the universe. I would love for you to take us through right. the first time that you were with one of the greys, but what was the environment? Like, I would like to know what it would feel like to be with one of these beings. Okay, so the first contact ever was, I was fairly young, because I, I already had certain cases which I was working on uh, that involved the fact that life outside of this planet exists. I was kind of prepared and asked if I wanted to, you know, participate uh, in a di direct contact situation. And were you briefed and shown photographs, videotapes, something to prepare you? I was kind of thrown into the cold water, which means I basically had only few sentences of what's going to happen, which is basically something I wouldn't recommend because it's a huge factor for your own perception of reality, meeting a different being, especially the greys. So if you are asking me what it feels like to meet with them, it's certainly not the way it is when we two, for example, meet right here. So it feels common or usual or whatever, or friendly or something. The situation was that in this facility, there are silverish, grayish, metallic boxes all over the place where you have these kind of meetings. Do you go into the container first by yourself? And then does the gray come or was the gray in there? How did this occur? So the first time uh, ever was I go inside of the container on one side, left door, I enter it, there's a desk, I just sat down. The container is, uh, the lights, it's not, it's, it's kind of, you know, fussy diffuse light. So I was always wondering why that is. Um, I assume, but I don't know it, it's um, for your own brain to, to not be capturing too many information that it's not used to, because brains like information they know, you know, but coming to a new situation might confuse the brain in some ways. I don't know that, it's just an assumption that I made over the years, because it's always in a not fully bright light, but it's kind of a diffuse light, just the like way we this. have. Right, right. It might also, because somebody has uh, said that to me, that there are some species that are very uh, allergic and sensitive to light, which I don't think the greys are, because they have artificial pupils, uh, you know, this uh, almond formed grayish dark eyes. It, it's technology. Technology, you could say that. And they're seeing probably an infrared and a bunch of frequencies yeah. that we don't see. Yeah. So the, the spectrum of um, information that they can, you know, perceive uh, and um, uh, and use is way bigger than any of the natural occurring features of a human eye or any other eye on this planet. And so you're sitting at the desk. I'm sitting at the desk. I'm just waiting. There's a second opening at the uh, back part of the uh, container. I assume that this gray being came from that. It might as well have been in, inside of the container, uh, which was the case in several other meetings, that the gray is already inside of the container. The very moment 
you feel the presence of this gray being. It's different than anything else that you have ever experienced on this planet. How? They irradiate a certain frequency. Every one of us does. But while we are in an environment where this resonance or this frequency is, you know, kind of mild, you, you, you might be in a place where someone with a strong presence comes in and you feel that presence, but it's not overly shocking. Um, you can also feel a friendly, you know, uh, frequency just as we do right now. Um, but in the moment uh, this, this, grayish, this gray being enters the room, it's a strong, crisp frequency that your body reacts to very heavily. 